New York City. It may not be for everyone, but there is no denying that New Year's Eve in New York City has an atmosphere that few other cities can rival. Most famous, of course, is the annual gathering of a million people in Times Square to see famous musicians and the ball drop, in which a 12-foot-wide crystal ball weighing nearly 12,000 pounds descends atop one Times Square. For a slightly less chaotic experience, book a reservation at one of the bars or restaurants overlooking Times Square. And for something completely different, consider a nighttime boat ride on New York Harbor, which offers the best views of the midnight fireworks display on Liberty Island, Island, Rio de Janeiro. If Rio is best known for its carnival festivities, its New Year's Eve celebration comes in a close second. Iconic Copacabana Beach hosts the world's largest, and arguably wildest, New Year's Eve party, in which more than two million people cram onto the two-and-a-half-mile stretch of sand. Known as Revelan, this uniquely Brazilian celebration that blends religious, traditional, and superstitious beliefs, locals dress head to toe in white, believed to bring good luck, and toss handfuls of flowers into the ocean as gift to Yamanja, goddess of the seas. The celebration also includes large oceanfront stages for live musical and dance performances, and a colorful fireworks display at midnight completes the scene. It's the scene, Sydney has two claims to fame for its New Year's Eve celebrations, first, because of its location, it has the first major city where the clock strikes midnight, second, Sydney puts on the largest fireworks display in the world with one at 9 p.m. and another at midnight, with the iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge and Sydney Opera House making for a striking setting. More than a million people attend the waterfront show, which also includes an air and water show featuring aerial acrobatics, an aboriginal smoking ceremony that is said to cleanse bad spirits, and the Harbour of Light Parade, a flotilla of more than 50 illuminated boats in the harbour. Harbour, Edinburgh. Hagmanate translates to last day of the year comma but the annual festivities in Edinburgh are actually last three days. Things kick off on December 30th with a torchlight procession through the city that culminates in a fireworks finale, while New Year's Eve is all about massive street parties and outdoor concerts, including a massive, open-air Kila traditional Celtic party. At midnight, 4.5 tons of fireworks explode over Edinburgh Castle while the streets ring out with revelers singing Old Lang Syne. New Year's Day brings competitive dog sledding across Holy Park, brave souls jumping into the ice cold waters of the River Forth at the conclusion of the Looney Dog Parade, a charity event, and Scotland's, a multi new music and arts festival. Festival, London is ring in the New Year as only they can, to the chiming of Big Ben at midnight. More than 250,000 people crowd the banks of the Thames and its numerous bridges to see the spectacular 10-minute light zoo and fireworks display, with the London Eye, the Houses of Parliament, also known as the Palace of Westminster, and the Shard among highlights of the urban scenery. The fun doesn't end there, though, there are many after-parties, and on New Year's Day the streets of central London see a parade that features colourful floats, marching bands, costumed dancers, and a procession of the Queen's horses, horses, Hong Kong. One of the world's most dramatic skylines lights up every year with a display of fireworks that grows more impressive every year, concluding with the dazzling finale, a pyrotechnic dragon that dances across the sky. The events kick off in Hong Kong as Times Square shopping mall, where a replica ball drop takes place in homage to New York City's famous festivities. Victoria Harbour is the center of the evening activity, though, so savvy locals party on boats, rooftop terraces, or at the Avenue of Stars and some TSA Shui for the best views of the dazzling Lifezo, Lifezo.